Hi, thanks for joining us at Word of His Power Faith Christian Center, the place where lives are changed and people are blessed. We're so glad you decided to join us today. Just a quick reminder, you can connect with us during the live stream using the chat option. Our live host will be happy to hear from you. And with that, let's go ahead and enjoy the message. God is good, isn't he? Woo, amen. God is good, isn't he? Hallelujah. Do you remember what happened at Jericho? Do you remember what happened at Jericho? Yes. All right, so God wrought a mighty victory, and I'm asking you to stand with us this morning as we praise God for what he's about to do, for the souls Amen. which are about to be yes. saved, for the Ooh, lives which are about hallelujah. to be transformed, for the chains which are about to be broken. Yes, and let's give God some praises. Praise. So let's say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Let's do seven shouts of hallelujah. One two, three, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God says, Jesus says that he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Let's praise him now as we sing about living in the overflow.
has done is it has prevented us from singing loudly, but it, it cannot stop us from moving and waving our arms and clapping our hands, right? Amen. Because God is a God of miracles, miracles. of so many reasons, but one of my favorite reasons for praising God is to know that Jesus is my rock. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. So no matter what's going on, I know I'm saved. is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only trust in Jesus' name. Can I sing one more time, yeah.
coming. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found. We'll be saved. Trust in his righteousness alone. And faultless we'll stand before his throne. Faultless I stand before the throne. acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ over our life. We thank you for your mercy. They are new every morning. Your compassions, they fail not. Great is your faithfulness. And our hope is in your everlasting mercy. So we declare and proclaim God, you are good to us and your mercy endures forever and ever. This morning, 
receive all praise glory and honor for everything you are doing in our life to protect us to promote us to prosper us to keep us safe and secure under the wings of your shadow of your wings oh lord oh we give you all the glory and honor and above all we thank you for the blood of jesus christ which purges our conscience to serve you the living god father we thank you and praise you not only for forgiving us washing us with your blood now we thank you for giving us your holy spirit not only to dwell in us but jesus said he will lead us he will guide us he will show us things to come he will bring to our remembrance everything what jesus has said and above all he will help us to glorify the name of jesus through our very lives so spirit of god we welcome you we honor you we respect you and we totally believe everything what jesus said about you you would do that for us we welcome you welcome lord welcome spirit of god welcome have your way and touch each one's life that after the service when they go they will go with a conscious knowledge that they received a touch from the very power of god that they received a touch from the love and compassion of god and they will go rejoicing from this place having heard god and receiving god's touch i ask this in jesus name everyone said amen praise god just be happy and be seated i'm glad i came to church but there is no condemnation for all the zoom people you stay safe and continue to follow god because every one of us the bible says we are blessed when coming in when going out so equally the zoom people are also blessed and uh, you know say this with me god is good all the time and his mercy endures forever god is good to me all the time and his mercy endures forever god is good and his mercy endures forever i am a spirit being i have a soul i live in this body and every time any time all the time when i read the word of god when i hear the word of god it is god talking to me and through the word of god i am feeding my spirit man and through the word of god i am renewing my mind and transforming myself through the word of god and also i receive by his grace skillful training to be a doer of the word that is to act my faith on the word of god thank you lord jesus now one more confession i'm quick i'm sharp i'm very good looking i am anointed of god blessed of god the grace of god abounds in me and i have the gift of righteousness any time every time i can boldly approach god and pray get my answers not only through prayers but the th- through the word of god which i believe in jesus name praise god now because of the pandemic going around which is just a sample again and again while spending time in reading and studying the lord is showing his church that means not just only our church around everywhere 
in the world. He said he is preparing his church for some coming great awakening. Right now what we are seeing in the natural, this pandemic is something which is only a sample. If you are prepared and if you are ready, the Bible shows us that whoever was ready, they got protected by God. People who rebelled, people who questioned, people who argued, they perished. It's not that God would not help them or save them, but that's the way. Because we are living not yet in heaven, we are living in planet earth where according to 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, Satan, our enemy, is still the God of this world. But the Bible says, you and I have been translated from the power of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. So even though physically we look like we are living in this planet earth, spiritually and mentally we are actually living in a different world, different kingdom. And you have to understand, and I believe the Holy Spirit will individually take this what I am saying and individually reveal and explain the importance of what the Spirit of God is giving me to tell you. You know, even though we live in big house, small house, apartment, and even though we live and drive around and live like in cities and all those things, Spirit of God showed me the real place, rich and poor, young and old, the real place they live, the space they live, is only six inches between their ears. Everything is happening here. You really live here inside. Even though outside is just a manifestation and it is proved both scientifically and by the word, in Proverbs it says, as a man thinketh, so is he. If you think poor, you will live poor. If you think weak, you will talk weak, you will live weak. If you think poor, you will talk poor, and you will live poor. So everything we really live inside here, inside is what we hear, we live. So God said in Romans 12, 3, be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the word of God. Transform means completely change the way you think. The word transform used there is the Greek word metamorphosis, which is to make it easy. You have seen how a small worm It comes as a worm, but after some time, the worm is transformed into a butterfly. That is called metamorphosis. So God, having recreated us, and he wants us to be like that butterfly, how? That little creature worm is transformed by what comes out of that little worm. In order to produce that beautiful silky wings for that butterfly, the worms keep on spitting from its mouth. And that is silk. They harvest that and manufacture silk, the original silk. And that what comes out of that worm's mouth 
it surrounds itself it surrounds and covers the worm for a season and everything what came out of the worm's mouth that silk is transformed inside into a big beautiful colorful wing and the the worm by its own mouth is so sharp it cuts itself through the cocoon they call it comes out like a beautifully transformed creature that example is just an analogy but that is what god has called us to do with our mouth christianity is not a religion it is also known as a faith confession hebrews 3 and 4 says hold fast to the confession of your faith the profession of your faith so once anybody is born again they all are given one profession profession means you profess what you believe a economic professor will profess only about money and economics but a physics professor will only profess about what he believes about how the planet move and all those things so you and i are called to believe the word of god and profess that our god is almighty our god will never fail us our god saved us our god redeemed us our god is a living god our god loves us no matter what our god will put us over our god will deliver us see these are all you are saying when what you say he will do so with this background spirit of god said for a season to teach the church in these lines so this is a larger series than we thought i won't even call it a series this is the preparation time you better prepare yourself because one day when me and my wife sarah and rebecca were praying the lord showed that in this preparation time we are like the 10 virgins the 10 virgins all had lamp all had oil but five were careless so when the door opened the five could not be helped by the people who had taken care and they were prepared see it is not the question of holding the lamp and the oil but they were expecting the bridegroom to come the door to open and go so that is what we are the church is getting ready church is getting ready not only for the second coming of jesus christ but the church is getting ready to avoid the tribulation and that doesn't mean we should all be afraid calmly keep following like how god was talking to moses he told that to the people whoever believed moses and followed they all survived others who rebelled question reason all died that's not god's will so in those lines with this background today's lesson is again about what comes out of your mouth so for convenience sake you know nowadays i have started taking a lot of notes because if you take notes when bigger notes comes in your hand you will handle it better praise god some people got it some people didn't get it but you should be smiling because i didn't make this up so i started taking notes so i'm going to read from here we know the text we have been using for this series is from proverbs 18 verse 20 and 21 it clearly says i can quote but god said read it proverbs 18 20 and 21 says a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth 
and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit of it. Then in the book of James, third chapter, we read the first 10, 13 verses. It talks about, it talks about your tongue having power not only to control your body, what is going on in your body and your mind, it talks about, if you read the, all the verses, it gives you the central truth. In modern language, we can call it your tongue is compared to a steering wheel. So with your tongue, not only you and I, with my tongue, we can not only control what is going on in the body and in the mind, but also the direction of our life. You, if you are going in the wrong direction, only when you turn the steering wheels, you can change the direction. You cannot be shouting, oh, I'm going in the wrong direction, help me, help me. Yeah, change that steering wheel. When you change it, with your own tongue, you change the direction to reach your destiny. So Bible put so much emphasis, thank God for this lockdown. I've been, this kind of studious, I've never been even when I was in Bible school. Okay, Bible school, somebody said, I took notes, happy. Now I am like Timothy, I am studying myself. More than my family, I am surprised because I, was, I didn't have this, but God gave the grace. Not only study and practice, now I can confidently teach you all and say, come on man, join me, let us follow God and succeed in life. That's all it's all about churches. So in book of Proverbs, 6-2 says, the book of Proverbs 6 to us, it's all about what is coming out of your mouth. That is what, that is how you are going to be transformed. Proverbs 6 2 says, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. What is the meaning? It says, snared means to be caught. And to be taken means trapped. So if you say wrong things, you will be trapped. A lot of people think, you know, oh, I, they work so hard. And they will prosper. Not true. I know people who work three, three jobs, but you stand close to them, listen to them five minutes. They are always saying, oh, when this will change, the economy is so bad, everybody is bad, I am struggling, I have long I will struggle, my mama struggle, my grandfather struggle. You keep talking, the Bible doesn't teach you that. So with three works, hard work, their mouth is spoiling everything. Oh, I can't afford this. Bible doesn't tell you to say, I can't afford this. Bible says, trust in the Lord and honor him with your substance. And though, thus your barns and vineyard, they will be filled. Honor the Lord. You can honor the Lord before in action with your mouth. So the psalmist said in Psalm 71, let my mouth be filled with your praise and honor all day long. So you see, many people don't realize it is the same. You know, people are in the hospital. I'm glad they discovered sedation. Because when, through sedation, they make them sleep so that they will not blabber and destroy their life. Otherwise, after the treatment is going on, they'll say, oh, oh. This is killing me. You'll die. So the doctor said, sedate them. They will not talk anything. They'll just be sleeping there. The world understands when we will, Christians will understand. So what comes out of our mouth traps us. Proverbs 13, 3 says, He that keeps his mouth keeps his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. So according to this scripture, don't say whatever crosses your mind. It applies to you, it applies to me. And I have been learning, without learning and quickly learning and practicing, I am not qualified to teach. So I am learning. Learning what? 
Don't utter anything that crosses your mind. Think about before what you say. Wrong thoughts gets life when you give life through what? In the form of words. All of us, even holy men, they get evil thoughts. But if you don't speak about it or speak it out, it doesn't have life. Brother Hagen used to say, those thoughts die unborn. So, this verse in easy to read version, Proverbs 13, 3 says, I want to read that. People who are careful about what they say will save their lives but those who speak without thinking will be destroyed. Is that not clear? So easy. People say, yeah, but I am saved. I know saved people are called in the Bible to work out your salvation. How do you work out your salvation? By taking care of what comes out of your mouth. Taking care that you don't speak against what God has already done. You are saved, all right, but then you have to continue in that direction. You have got to speak only that which you believe, and that is how you are working out your salvation. So take heed. Don't say whatever crosses your mind, whether to your children, to yourself, or anybody else. Many times we think, oh, this instruction is when we talk to others. You don't realize every one of us constantly talk to one person that is yourself. That is true. So we have to take care because Bible, God is interested. It doesn't matter how old. Some people think, oh, now I am old. Oh, what am I going? No, even in old age, Abraham was taught that. Abraham kept saying, oh, you have not given me child. What am I going to do? God appeared to him in Genesis 15. He said, Abraham, Abe, brother Abe, come here. And he took Abe out and he told brother Abe, look at the star, count, and if you can. So while instead of saying, God, I don't have, he started saying, well, I can have all these things. Each star will be like those stars your children will be. And that is true. That is already established. Still more and more children are coming. Me, so God's word prevailed. That is not just a story written and people don't realize this can be applied in every area. When your health is not okay, speak what the Bible says. When your finances are not okay again, start saying, don't say, oh my God, I'm going under, I don't know, economically, I hope in this lifetime, I'll have something to save. Nonsense. You say, no matter what, my God will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Oh, my God is faithful. He said, if I, if if I do what he said he will do and he said for me even a little if I give it to him and confess he said he will perform it and it is very appalling to see Christians suffering Christians and Christians have been given the word the power everything they think still they are singing oh Lord when you will come no God is already inside you you start changing your life change your direction and say I will not be poor in my life my poor days are over I will not be sick in my life my sick days are over pandemic can come evil can come viruses can come but they will not touch me for the word says a thousand will fall on my side, 10,000 on my right side, but it shall not come near me. Speak like that. It will be true. Doesn't matter. Even if the virus attacks you, you will still be alive. You will come out to come and testify and say, look what the Lord has done. Glory to God. By God never... What am I talking? This is how you talk. You think I'm preaching? No, this is how you talk. Because the Bible says, Bible says in Proverbs 18.7 A fool's mouth is, is destruction. Who is bringing destruction? Not the devil yet. A fool's mouth is, is destruction. His lips are, are the snare of his soul. So you are, many people are trapped the way they are living. Young and old, families. 
because they are not taught they go to church to hear some kind of kumbaya song and feel good it is not coming to church is not feel good coming to church is to live good what god says take it and live and your life will change your feeling will change your health will change your mind will change your finances will change everything about you will change which will bring glory to god and you can shout more because the bible encourages christians to shout i didn't make this up but this works I didn't make this up. This works. This will work to anybody. That's how we all got saved. So see, watch this. Proverbs twelve six says, "The words of the wicked are a lie. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them." It says, "The mouth of the upright shall deliver them." who is upright every born again believer is an upright man he is called the righteousness of god so that means every one of you have the power and ability to deliver yourself from any kind of problem it can be addiction it can be depression it can be anger it can be lousy feeling it can be financial trouble it can be the very power of darkness you can deliver yourself don't have to even wait for god he says your mouth will deliver you so you say whether you feel like it or not you say i will live long and strong either whether don't bring your age don't bring anything else you say no i this is not based on my feeling this is my feeling will change because i may feel depressed now but i'm going to praise god i'm going to shout out and say glory to god the joy of the lord is my strength oh glory to god when you say that it will deliver you you have got addiction problem don't say i am addicted to this my mama was addicted to this i mean, no addiction in this family is broken in the name of jesus christ i don't care what kind of wrongful habits you have i don't want to give the list of wrongful habits because some of them i have had it but i am free i am free he whom the son sets free is free indeed jesus has set me free jesus has set me free and it is true i used to be a very short tempered man oh i can easily get angry but i said no because i said no lord i will not you said i can get angry but sin not but i am going to watch my mouth i am not so i say that is the part of the confession you get i am quick i'm sharp i'm very good looking and i'm very cool guy i'm very cool guy every time i said i'm very cool guy inside it gets hot to get angry because i have said i'm cool guy really i'm cool guy i'm a handsome guy oh praise god thank you lord jesus i am getting more and more handsome after i was married so i am safe and secure glory to god you are supposed to laugh but the bible says it will deliver should take up i have i have i know people who used to smoke light a cigarette okay thank you lord i am free from this thank you lord you have to say i know people who have been free set free like that same way people get depressed what they say oh, i'm very depressed i'm talking from experience and all the results i got it from the bible after i got saved i have been to, before i got saved i had taken treatment for depression and what not but the bible doesn't say when you are depressed confess and tell call a pity party and then misery party and then all of you sit and cry and others pretend and say oh i'll pray for you brother no they are not going to pray for you they are equally depressed like you so when depression comes I will sing I am full of joy and I got the victory full of joy and I got the victory I full of joy and I got the victory now nothing 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 can keep me down nothing can make me sad or very frown I am full of joy and I got the victory now take off Somebody say you sang the key was not there why do you need the key when the lock is broken
you don't need the key the idea of that song is to break the lock so with this spirit of god says to continue this way next week i hope some of you are getting and i i pray that by god's grace you will make up your mind sincerely to act on what you are hearing because i am not preaching to anybody i am just enjoying because my life you ain't seen nothing yet our this church life you ain't seen nothing yet our church will be well known because we are the church of faith we are the church of power we are the church of love and that will be the preparation which is happening through chile pila kirishika sola phanda chete kela pakara e de geche ne mo kura mangela ya 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 gamble ko roha ha 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 rejoice rejoice and say yes lord i'm getting ready yes lord i'm getting ready yes lord yes 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 you say that for every yes god is sending his angels to perform that which comes out of your mouth surely surely i say in the spirit all of us are spiritual butterflies set free from the evils of this world set free from sickness and disease set free oh fly 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 that's what the spirit says set free from financial difficulties our children will lack nothing in their life oh glory to god the education system may change but our children shall be taught of the lord great shall be their peace says the lord great it shall be the peace says the lord oh parents you rejoice don't worry about the education system don't worry about anything claim the promise my child shall be taught of the lord great shall be their peace who grand brangle selikura come on somebody praise my god come on somebody shout here god is real jesus is the lord jesus is lord jesus is lord glory to god glory to god thank you lord jesus thank you thank you it is time you sing something joyful the joy of the lord is our strength in this week hallelujah i preach myself happy lord hallelujah. thank you let's sing something joyful glad you came to church this morning god is good
Say this to me, God is good to me. He is always good to me. Thank you Lord Jesus. Praise God, I have to dismiss you all. So kindly follow the sign, keep social distance and also, ha, not dismiss, wait a minute, we have to honor God. I'm excited, see I feel like Peter, so please take over. Amen. Let's play that tithing audio as we get ready to give our offering. It's now time to worship God with our giving. There are four ways to honor God. I'm pastor, and I can make church. all kinds of mistakes. No problem. You can give securely by e transfer online to wohpoffice at gmail.com, or you can give online at our church website at wohp.org forward slash give, and through our Word of His Power church app. It's simple and secure for you to give a single gift or schedule recurring giving via credit. Alternatively, you can mail in your checks to Word of His Power Church, Box 67014, Sunningdale RPO, London, Ontario, Canada, N6G0V5. If you would like to give in person today, you can place your gift directly in the offering box located at the back of the sanctuary, either when you come in for the service or at the end of the service when you're dismissed. So as you have given uh, and you're about to give online, let's just go ahead and pray over the offering and the tithes and offering this morning. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. First and foremost, Lord, we thank you that it's you who's given us the ability to prosper. We thank you that everything we have comes from you. And we thank you that the increase that you've given us in every area of our life, we sow our seed in faith, believing and we receive a mighty harvest right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We receive our blessing in Jesus' name. And all God's people said? Amen. Amen. You are blessed and you are dismissed. Thank you, those online. We'll see you again Friday. And I do know our media people tell us that we were live streaming on Facebook and our app and YouTube. So hopefully, uh, if Zoom didn't work for you, you could get on to those channels as well. We're growing in God, amen, and we're growing physically as well. So those in person, please follow the ushers as they dismiss you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. We love you. God bless. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the service. Be sure to connect with us on our website at wohp.org, our Facebook at wohpfcc, and Instagram at Word of His Power Church. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to stay updated on all new uploads. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a blessed week.